personally said, yeah, I want this dude to help me with my savage. Stuff. He said, you my producer. That's what he used to call me, like, you my producer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, even his first song, I don't even know where I could find it. It was a song called New Kicks. I think DJ Chill might have it. Uh, shout out to DJ Chill. DJ Chill might have it, be one of the only people with it, but that was his first song that he had put out, and I did the beat for that, so. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. That was my baby, right? That was that was my baby. I call him my baby because that's, I had fat, you know, 10, 12 years old, you know what I'm saying? How old were you him. older than, how old, how many uh, years was y'all old? Like? I'm, a, I'm probably about 10 years older than fat. So did you, you went to his but funeral and everything. You I didn't go to his funeral. I you didn't? No. Fuck no. I couldn't. It, it was bad? Uh, I was that close to him. You couldn't deal with it? I couldn't deal with it. Nah, I didn't want to do it. Uh, he actually died at the hospital where my first daughter was born. So that's crazy to me even more. So you know what I'm saying? And um, had, How long before when he passed away had you spoken to him? No, I, I even... This is the thing, and I'm, and this is just a testament to show how close we were. Even when I fell out with Tria, that never affected my relationship with Fat. So even his brother, you know what I'm saying, I'm still cool with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? It never affected. And, and at the end of the day, they was able to draw the line between personal and business. You know what I'm saying? And they know what's going on with what. Okay, let's go back to you first meeting Fat because that that that's that's the thing in itself. He was so popular, but didn't even live it, out his success. Right. Like, when did you first meet him, and had he ever been in music before you met him? Uh, he was just hanging around. You know, he was just always hanging around Trill, always hanging around the studio. But then when he wanted to rap, and finally started, you know, wanting to get in it, and he personally said, "Yeah, I want this dude to help me." my savage stuff. he said you my producer that's what he used to call me like you my producer mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so uh even his first song i don't even know where i could find it it was a song called new kicks i think dj chill might have it. uh shout out to dj chill dj chill might have it. be one of the only people with it but that was his first song that he had put out and i did the beat for that so when i say day one of his career and I was around, you know what I'm saying? Wow, so when you seen him, how was it just dealing with him? I mean, with me, it was it was always easy. I mean, he was a jokester, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's the only thing that was. He was going to play all day, laughing all day, joking all day, smile on his face, practical jokes, the whole nine, you know what I'm saying? Just a good dude, but I feel like... Uh, Cause I would have to reel him in sometime on the street shit, you know what I'm saying, and be like, "Hey, you tripping?" But he got this. He had this little fro, just like way. But why did he get this fro? Is that a bad rouge thing? <laughs> yeah, they call this the damn fro, fro. They both had that little yeah, fro, they man. Call it the bob back home. It's just you know you grow it out and just tape the side. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever you go do with it, just let it roll. You know what I'm saying? But uh, even even somebody like YB though, young boy, that's you could tell. Fat was his favorite artist, and he always be saying stuff like that as far as how he looked up to Fat. Fat had that effect on a lot of the young cats that's popular today. He had that effect on them, and I feel like he had his own movement going. You know, then, uh, you know, it's a lot of people that are successful from Baton Rouge today are standing on the shoulders of the people that did it yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So without, without Fat, it wouldn't be no young boy, but without C it wouldn't be no Boosie. You see what I'm saying? Without without uh me, it wouldn't be no level and mister. You know what I'm saying? Like all these guys, it's like we you know, you have to continue to build on things. So I heard somebody say uh the other day from New Orleans, uh, no rap cap podcast. He was saying that dudes from Baton Rouge always wanted to be like cats from New Orleans and we always want to do their style and I always want to come down. And that's the furthest thing from the truth because we don't work so hard to build our own legacy and our own image. Even if you listen to the music and uh, the verbiage, the language is different. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.